I'll try to get some ideas together for our presentation on diet and diversity. Sure. I can talk about the experiment I did to see if people can tell the difference between real sugar and artificial sweetness. sweeteners. Where should get people drinks with either sugar or art artificial sweeteners? And uh, they had to say which they thought it was. Yeah, it, it took me ages to decide exactly how I'd organize, organize it, especially how I could make sure that people did not know which drink I was giving them. It was hard to keep track of it all, especially as I had so many people doing it. I had to make sure I kept the proper record of what each person had had. So uh, could most people tell the difference? Yeah, I hadn't thought uh, they uh, would be able to, but uh, most people could. Then uh, there is that experiment I did measuring the fat content of nuts to see if the nutritional information given a packet was accurate. The one where you ground ground up uh, mm, ground up nuts and uh, mixed with mixed them uh, with a uh, chemical to absorb the fat yes my results were a bit problematic the fat content for that type of nut seems much lower than it said on the package but I reckon the package information of our site. I think I should probably have ground up the nuts more than I did. It's possible uh, that the scales for weighing the fat uh, weren't accurate enough too. I'd really uh, like to try the experiment again sometime. So, what can we say about helping people to lose weight? There is a lot of we could say about that restaurants could do to reduce obesity. I read that the times at the start of a menu and the times at the end of a menu are much more likely to be chosen than uh, the items in the middle. So if you uh, put the low calorie items at the beginning and end of the menu, people will probably uh, go for, for the food with uh, fewer calories without even realizing uh, that they are what they are doing. I think food manufacturers could do more to encourage healthy eating. How? Well, when a manufacturer put calorie for calorie counts of a food on the label, and they are sometimes really confusing, and I suspect they do it on purpose because food that's high in calories tastes better and so uh, they'll sell more. Yeah, so if you look at the amount of calories in a pizza, they'll uh, give you the calories per quarter pizza and uh, you think, oh, that's not too bad, but who is going to eat a uh, quarter pizza. Exactly. I suppose another approach to this problem is to get people to exercise more. Right. 
In England, the current guidelines are not at least 30 minutes of brisk walking, five days a week. Now, when uh, you ask them, about 40% of men and 30% of women say uh, they do this, but uh, when you objectively measure the amount of walking they do with uh, motion sensors, you find that only 6% of men and 4% of women do the recommended amount of exercise. Mm. So uh, you can see why obesity is growing. So how can people be encouraged to take more exercise? Well, for example, think of the location of stairs in a train station. If people reach the stairs before they reach the escalator, when they are leaving the station, and they are more likely to take the stairs. And if you increase the width of the stairs, you get more people are using them at the same time. It's an unconscious process and influenced by minor modifications in their environment. Right. But it might not be a big change, uh, but if it happens every day, it all adds up. Yeah, but actually I'm not sure if we should be uh, talking about exercise in our presentation. Well, uh, we've done uh, quite a bit of reading about it. I know, but it's uh, going to mean uh, we have a very wide focus and our tutor did say that uh, we need to focus on causes and uh, solutions in terms of nutrition. I suppose so. And uh, we've got plenty of information about that. Okay, well, uh, that will be similar. So, what shall we do now? Uh, we've still got half an hour before our next lecture. Let us think about what uh, we are going to include and what will go where. Then uh, we can decide what sides we need. Okay, fine. Part 3, questions 21 to 30, questions 21 and 22, choose two letters A to E. Which two points does Adam make about his experiment on art artificial sweeteners? A large sample of people was tested. C. The subjects were unaware of what they were drinking. D. Questions 23 and 24. Choose two letters A to E. Which two problems did Rosie have when measuring the fat content of nuts? She said she uh, did not grind the nuts finely enough. C. The weighing scales may have been unsuitable. E. 
questions at 25 to 30, choose the correct letter A, B, O, C. Adam suggests what restaurants could reduce obesity if their menus were organized in a particular way. C. The students agree that food manufacturers deliberately make calorie counts hard to understand. Option A. What does Rosie say about uh, levels of exercise in England? Most people overestimate how much they do. D. Adam refers to the location and miles of stairs in a train station to illustrate practical changes and uh, that can influence the people's behavior. A. What do the students agree about including reference to exercise in their presentation? They should probably level it out. A. What are the uh, students going to do next for their presentation? Decide on its content and organization. C.